Okay, turning now to weather. We've got Marielle in the Weather Center to tell us about what we can expect this weekend. So this weekend, we're still going to be really windy. Okay. It was a windy weather, but also we are tracking rain for the second half of the weekend. Okay. So definitely want to make sure to plan around that. Here is a look at our wind advisory. This will be in place starting noon. So here in about 42 minutes, this goes into effect and it's already windy out there. This is in place until six in the morning on Saturday. It includes the Metroplex. It includes counties towards the Red River and areas west. This is a major wind event for a lot of locations. Look at how far the spread out. It goes all the way to West Texas, the Panhandle, into the Plains, Kansas, Nebraska, portions of Colorado included in this, as well as New Mexico and Arizona. So just a really high widespread wind event. Here locally, we're expecting wind gusts anywhere between 30 to about 40 miles per hour throughout the afternoon and into the overnight hours as well. This is a look outside right now. We're still seeing some of that cloud cover out, but some breaks in the clouds expected later today, just like what we saw yesterday. 76 degrees right now in Dallas. The winds are currently out of the south at about 20 miles per hour. That south wind is what's helping keep the humidity elevated. So if you step outside and you notice that really humid air, that's going to stick around for the remainder of the day. As our temperature still climbs to about 86 degrees, this happens closer towards five. Again, very similar to yesterday, but we are going to be, uh, see even windier weather. Around seven this evening, temperature of about 82 degrees. Overall, just a warm day ahead. 86 for the high temperature in Denton, about 85 in Decatur, 81 for Greenville, Terrell at about 85 degrees, Waxahachie at about 85 degrees as well. This is a look at your weekend. Today, warm. Tomorrow, also warm, but we add in more cloud cover. The wind will also be a factor. Rain will hold off until Saturday night into Sunday. Although rain is not going to be widespread tomorrow, but it will be on Sunday. Let me break down what happens for you. On Saturday, areas to our west have a marginal risk for severe weather, very low level threat, and this is mostly for some gusty winds that pop up with any thunderstorm that takes shape. Here's a look at that. We're going to approach here Saturday morning. We see the cloud cover. Most of the day Saturday stays dry for us. We may see some drizzle in the morning, but in the afternoon evening hours, we'll see a few thunderstorms popping up to our west. We'll again mostly stay dry and then come Sunday storm prediction center highlights all of North Texas under a marginal risk. Again, that's a one out of five, very low level threat, likely just for the heavy rain and the gusty winds. Here's a look at that. Throughout the day on Sunday, this cold front swings through. This is Sunday now at 8. We can see some of those bright colors indicating some of that heavier rain. The heavy rain stays with us Sunday night into early Monday, potentially impacting that Monday morning commute. We could pick up anywhere between 1 to 3 inches of rain where you see that purple there along our northern counties and even portions of Denton Collin County. The outskirts there in the blue, that's anywhere between half an inch to about an inch and a half possible for us. So again, beneficial rainfall. Uh, we just have to deal with the potential for uh, some ruined plans on Sunday. So have a backup plan just in case. And of course, that WFAA app in case you need to be alerted. Turn those notifications on. Sonia. All right, Mariel, thank you. We've got some breaking